Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. So I've been absent for a few months, I think, or maybe a month, but I'm back. So I really wanted to focus on creating some new tutorials for my website for the Drawing Club membership. And I didn't have time to make some new YouTube videos, but I am back. And today I have a real-time pastel tutorial for you of a tongue of a German Shepherd that I just finished and I really love the results. Today you'll be seeing the total complete process of drawing the tongue from start to finish. So let's get started with the video. You can find the full tutorial of this German Shepherd over on my website. There's a link in the description in the Drawing Club membership. I hope to see you there if you want to follow along with this one. So I'm working with Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils on pastel mats and I hope you'll enjoy and let's get started with the video. All right, great. So then we can continue with the tongue. So actually the tongue would also be easier to finish when this fur around is done, but for this part I feel it's easier to do the tongue now and then do all the rest in the next part. The tongue is also super interesting because there's a really nice shadow over it which really adds to the lighting in the picture. Um, but we need to have some nice base colors. I see a lot of magenta in this. I see this color, 642. And I really need to pick a magenta probably. I'm definitely going to add violet as a glazing tone. Let's see what we can find to add more of the bright pink tone. Yeah, this one. So that's 365. But we need something to add on top of it to tone it down and lighten it up. So for that we can use just the beige, like this one, like 700. That will lighten it up and also tone it down. I think we'll get pretty far with these. And then 770 probably for this very brightest or darkest shadow. Um, at the top and maybe a tad of black All right, so first let's get started with the shape of the tongue. So I'm going to take 681 just for the outlines a little bit You can see that the tongue is very bright It stands out very well against the darkness of the gums I'm just going to run along the outlines to make sure they are sharp and that the tongue has the right shape. Okay, so let's do a base tone. Let's work on the bright section first and then do a base layer for the shadow. I'm going to get started right away with this really nice magenta color 365. And I'm going to do a very light base layer because this is a super opaque and vibrant color. It's definitely too dark and too vibrant for the tongue, but it is a nice undertone. So I'm holding the pencil very flat, making circles with it, and just make sure that I have no pressure on it. And actually, let's continue it all the way to the top because I also see the magenta in the shadow a lot as well. Okay, so you can still see the paper through, which is no problem. We need to add more color on top. I also see some more reddish tones on the edges. 
Let's add some more darkness on the edges as well with the 642. It's a little bit more neutral tone. I'm going to run it across the edges. Eventually this light outline will also disappear. Looking at the shapes I see within the tongue. We also see the center line and then the shadow at the bottom. Still working with small circular motions. Let's also do the center line we see through the tongue. We can darken it up. Actually, it's not completely straight. And with this color, let's also map out the shape of the shadow, which is actually a very, it's a very bland line, very straight. It goes diagonally to about there. Lightly filling that in. So building this up very lightly all the way, just to get an idea of the basic shapes within the tongue. And then we can start adding the right colors. I'm actually also going to add a bit more of a rosy pink. So this is 335 and also glaze that on top. Have some real pink on top of the purplish tone as well. Still super lightly. For the shadow at the top, I want to add the real violet, the one 138. I see a lot of violet here. It's all very pink and very violet, but we're going to tone that down. All right, so let's also add a tad of red, 635. Just here at the bottom, I see a bit of red. And that's center line. And now we can also start lightening up the center section. And let's do that. Let's do that actually with 681. I think it will fit better than the, the beige. So I'm going to run this on top. You'll still be able to see the magenta underneath. And I'm going to go up to that shadow. Just use light pressure. You will probably need to go on top with a little bit more color on top of this. But this is just to thicken the layers slightly and also lighten this up. I'm using very light pressure, so there's still a lot of layering possible.
Alright, so this I can smudge out lightly just to blend in the colors a bit. And then let's see what we end up with. Careful to not go over the edges. Actually, I think that's already a very good tone for the base. So before we move on with that, let's first finish the dark shadow. Then it becomes a little bit easier to judge values. So let's start with a little bit of 640 at the top and then work that down slightly with light pressure. little bit more red maybe 655 below that's 640 color also thicken the layers a bit And then I feel I might need a little bit more of the magenta again. So switching to six or three sixty-five and adding a bit more of that. I even see some blue as well. Yeah, let's go over with a little bit of blue, 450, add that as well, especially here on the edges. Blend that in a bit. And then this needs to be just a little bit darker still. So first let's add some 770. And then we might need a little bit of black on top as well. Just right here below the mouth. Let's also darken the center line as well. Just here at the top. Towards the bottom it gets more of a, a reddish color. Okay. And then just a tad of black at the top right here with circular motions, not too much pressure.
bit of brown around that if the black is too harsh looking by itself. 635. Create a smoother transition between the black and the other colors. Tapping that in. And with black, let's darken up that center line all the way towards the top. Okay, and then we have a really nice base for the tongue where we can add the details on top on. So let's continue the center line down and work a little bit more on that. I feel I need... Let's do this pink tone. The 335. Continue this line down. You see it's not completely straight. Curves around a bit. And then it stops and then you see it more at the bottom again. I'm trying to follow that natural shape instead of just drawing a line straight down. Add a bit more pink on the edges as well. And then I see some darker shapes and lines that I'm going to try to recreate a bit with super light pressure. Again. And just like with the gums, the tongue will really come to life when adding the highlights. And of course, when adding the fur around, it will also make a lot more sense. I also want to make sure that it all doesn't look too pink because that looks a little bit unnatural so I try to combine it with more neutral tones, a little bit of orange. Let's add 675 on this edge, on the left edge a bit. Still super light pressure, a little bit on the right. And tapping that in. Not really blending, but tapping so that there are no harsh lines anymore. Except for the center line, that can stay pretty harsh. And now we can start doing the little textures and highlights which will be really nice to draw. I think I'm going right in with white and then vary a little bit with the pressure. Finish with the very brightest highlights, but first I'm going to draw with light pressure all these little dots you see. These little nodules on the tongue. Tapping. And 
and I'm not adding much pressure at all. Going next to these darker lines and shapes that I just drew. drawing these dots all the way up against the shadow that will make the shadow pop out even more Tiny bit of dotting at the top as well. Super light pressure. Just so we continue the same texture upwards. Then I can also add the brightest highlights on the tongue, mainly on the bottom half, and looking very well. The shapes, and I'm adding the highlights in dotting motions as well, but I'm just increasing the pressure and putting the dots closer together.
All right, so the only thing I want to do to the tongue now is take 642 and just increase the lines on the tongue a little bit more. And then the actual shape of the tongue will come together more when the fur around is also done. But for now, I think I like the tongue as it is and I want to keep it this way. And that is also the end of this part. This was quite a long part. The last part won't be as long, I think. And then we're going to finish all the rest of the dog. So I'll see you in part three. All right, so that concludes this video for today. I hope you liked it. This is the result of the drawing. I'm really, really loving the result. I really had fun drawing a dog. It's been a while since I did a dog. And yeah, I hope you like it too. If you have any questions about the process, you can let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do a time lapse of the full drawing as well. Let me know if you want to see that. And yeah, I'm glad to be back on YouTube and I hope to see you soon in a new video. Thanks for watching.